Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Black. Um, just cleaned out this gym, got our second badge, and uh, it is time to uh, move on and find out what all this uh, stuff about Team Plasma is about here. Okay, you're just going back and forth between topics here. Oh, great. When you ever hear this music, you know it's something not good here. So you're gonna steal a... a fossil. Um... Okay, uh... I don't know what you're gonna do with it. Are you gonna, like, revive it into a Pokemon or something? I mean, I don't even know what you're planning to do with that. Um... Yeah... You're... They're kind of weird because, uh... I don't know what you're gonna do with that Dragon Skull, but... Alright. Oh, they ran off fast. Oh, so this is, uh, Berg. Uh, we'll be facing him, uh, quite a bit later, actually, so... Um, again, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, hello. You guys come by for a visit here. And of course I don't say anything, but uh, somehow everyone understands what is going on because I don't say anything. Alright, so, uh, Bianca is going to, uh, let's see. Uh, she's gonna give you the dowsing machine here. Uh, similar to, like, in, uh, prior generations. Um, I think it's a bit easier to use here. You don't have to keep clicking on the button. It's very annoying to do that in prior games. I mean, you have to keep going into the menus and stuff. I guess um, Heart Gold Soul Silver did a slightly better job. You just have the dowsing machine, just keep clicking the bottom screen or something. Um, now, what you can do here, those red check marks are um, registered items. Kind of a, like shortcut items. So if you press the Y button, see how it pops up in uh, its own little menu? So, very convenient, so I, you know, I can do it really quickly. And you can move stuff around, swap order of things. And, uh, you can put a variety of things in there. I think you can even put your... Like, your... Item bag as a registered thing. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> okay, so how the dowsing machine worked here is it's kind of like metal detectors in a way. Um, it's going to that's kind of its baseline position. And there are no hidden items here, and when you get in range of something, it will <clears throat> point you into the direction. Uh, other games, you had to keep selecting the dowsing machine item to see if it finds anything, so it's kind of annoying to do and end up skipping a lot of stuff. So it points you in the direction of the item. And then when you get onto the 
spot, it will kind of flash. <clears throat> Metal detector will go crazy here. <clears throat> now, it can get a little difficult with the three dimensions, so you can actually miss some items or just get kind of misinterpret where things are. Here, find an Ultra Ball. That other one's, I think, like a revive or something. <clears throat> and this thing has pretty good range, actually. So you may not even be on the screen or the anywhere near the item, and it will already start picking up on it. So I'll kind of use this everywhere you go. Here, I usually just have it on all the time, since you know my C gear is useless. <laughs> Super potion up here. <laughs> yeah, so my C gear is useless. So I usually have my dowsing machine on. All right. Uh, next stop is to the the forest. Um, well, let me look around here and see if there are any hidden items. See if this thing picks up on anything. And it will pick up more than one item. So if there's a... Uh, you know, you just go find one of the items here. I'll find a tiny mushroom here. Uh, now there was a... A second item floating around somewhere, so I have to go find it. Metal detectors here. Uh, the only thing annoying is when you have to go um, uh, switch Pokemon, because then you have to keep pressing X to get out of all the menus. Uh, antidote in this little pond. It's kind of weird. Again, Shaking Grass is always good to step into them, because I think you always get into, like, a random battle. I don't think there are ever any items. Unlike caves and stuff. Uh-huh, can't attract. And again, always worth it because you get a bundle of experience. I don't think I have that many repels, so I'm trying not to waste them here. Kind of let the dowsing machine kind of guide you to uh, <clears throat> roughly where the item is. I uh, find an ether um, just kind of randomly placed there. Wow, there's some big items already there. Uh, it doesn't look like anything else here. Now, shaking grass only is good for, um... You have to make sure you don't get into another battle, because I will, you'll lose the shaking grass. Um, or if someone steps over it, that actually takes it away as well. So, um... If you need to use repels... I mean, if you're seriously looking for something... Alright, um...
just uh, heal up here before we actually go into the forest here. Yeah, you have to beat the. Uh, you have to beat Lenora before you can go any further in here. Otherwise, you got a wall of Team Plasma grunts that block you. Now, of course, you have to take the straight road. Make me take the the windy road here. Typical. You gotta always take the hard way here. Alright, um... Might as well. Uh... You bring, might wanna bring out your dowsing machine just to make sure. So we're gonna have to start going through the... kind of long and... windy road here. Two have a couple of waddles here. This is a bug and grass hybrid here. You can actually find these in the um, in this forest, so if you're interested in putting one on your team. Um, you can consider it. Now, oh, come on, Mr. Norris. I can't even take that out. At least I like critical one of them. Now, thank goodness the critical hits on the wrong Pokemon here. Mr. Norris didn't even flinch from that. I could have tried catching that at. No, I couldn't catch it. This is a trainer battle. Uh, I thought it was a wild Pokemon battle for a moment there. I was like, yeah, I have that at 1 HP here. I'm pretty sure I can catch this thing. Uh, that was a trainer battle. Uh, that's a good tip. Dude, you just walked in front of my path here. I mean, I... I was gonna go around you and just explore the place. Like, you can't even skip these guys. You guys just block you. I mean, it's not like you have to talk to them or anything. Okay, we haven't seen this little fellow here in a sand dial. A grounded, dark uh, hybrid here. Look, your Tiffany didn't even help you. Still took you out with one kick here. Didn't even need the second kick there. I took you out with one punch or one kick there. Alright, um... See if there's anything down here. Uh, there's a Pokeball right here. Uh, I find a big root. Um, this item, I think, ups the damage from like, like HP absorbing moves or something. Uh, I don't know if it's like all HP absorbing moves or certain ones. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's just uh. You can consider it, but, um... Yeah. Okay, so in this version, you can find Cottonese. 
yeah, cotton balls and all that. Um, I think the Pokemon what you find like Pedalils or whatever. All right, um, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Might as well. I should just throw a Pokemon at it. Pretty sure this thing's catch rate's like maximum or something. Okay, I cannot be getting hacks this much. At least I'm not using this thing on my team or anything, so it's basically death fodder. <laughs> Okay, that's three turns in a row. Oh my god, seriously, this is- isn't it like a one-fourth chance you can't attack or something? Oh my goodness. Seriously, this is like epic failure right here. Okay, at least I got that out. Before my zebra goes down here, I mean seriously. Goodness, that's like unbelievable. Like, can you have you ever seen something get paralyzed like five out of six turns? I mean, seriously, can you really get hacks that badly? I mean, what's the chance of that happening? Oh boy, Zebra's not gonna look for anything good here. All right, uh, guess we'll start. Weakening this thing here. Man, that's just like. You just see some epic failure hacksing there. At least my Panzer is doing a much better job. And the Dust Claw, I probably could have just thrown that and probably caught this thing. Catch this thing automatically. Okay, I'm only catching this for the trade thing. I'm not gonna use this on my team or anything. <laughs> Man, I've never been hacked that badly before. I'm trying to think even Confusion have I been hacked that badly. Uh, maybe I've gotten three hits on myself before. Maybe four. Maybe. Uh, but never this badly, and Paralysis is only one-fourth chance you don't attack, not one-half. Confusion's one-half. Paralysis is one-fourth, so to get four Paralysis hacks in a row, it's like, what is it, uh... 1 over 256 or something? Some, like, absurd probability here? I mean, seriously. All right, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, there's the recharge station outside anyway. Uh, I'm only doing this to show the this trade here um, because you can't actually catch a Petalo in Pokemon Black. Um, the opposite applies. You're playing the other version. Uh, here's so here's the in-game trades. Um, nothing impressive, but I think it's a lot faster actually. You'll notice this is a lot faster than, like, previous versions. Um... This only took, like, uh... 15 seconds or something. That was pretty fast, actually. How long did it take in other versions? Like, a minute or something? I mean, you're literally waiting for the Pokeball to... go from one side to the other. I mean, it's, like... really annoying. And here it's, like, just, like, instant transmission or something. <laughs> it's kind of... It's kind of nice. Uh, other than that, it has basically no use for me here, so, um... Yeah, nothing too useful for me here.
trying to see what else I need to dump here just to make some room for myself. Okay, so after that terrible bit of haxing, um... That's probably not gonna be- that's not gonna be the last time you'll see my little zebra faint. Um, I'm really... Just gonna be using it for a bunch of random stuff here. Alright, um... So next up, we'll continue on further in the pinwheel forest, and we'll... find some stuff here. Alright, see you guys later.